Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 66 Leader Class Overload and I love this toy. Now this is going to be a little more of a traditional review and not a first impressions. I recently got this figure for my birthday and I just did not feel like waiting to open it until I could put it in front of a camera. I really just kind of wanted to get right into it, open it up and really kind of get to enjoy it. So I decided I'm just not gonna do first impressions on it and um, you know, when I had the time to finally shoot it, then I would just do a traditional review with it. Released in August of 2020, this figure is starting to hit stores right now. As of the time of this recording, it is a leader class figure, so it retails for approximately $50. My wife found this for me at Target. And so here we have Overload in the uh, vehicle mode. And it's like this big dump truck or a dump truck trailer kind of a vehicle. Um, not really familiar with what vehicle this really is or is supposed to be. I don't know if this is a real construction vehicle or something they've made up for uh, for the movie. I don't know. I've never really seen anything else like it. But it's a very cool uh, looking dump truck and it fits right in with the aesthetic of the other vehicles. And we'll see that later on. Very, very cool enormous vehicle leader class again here in vehicle mode it, it measures at approximately 11 inches long and as you can see he rolls just fine we'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little more and just kind of go all the way around a little bit of robot kibble here and there but not a whole lot and he rolls just fine and you know that's pretty much all he is <laughs> going to do uh real quick just so you can see the packaging We'll just bring this up and he comes in the traditional studio series leader class box with the window packaging he'll be packed in robot mode he's got that diorama of the uh, pyramids in the background there overload in the front there and then just going around the side devastator on the one side overload again on the other and then on the back you got the product shots showing you overload in both robot vehicle mode and what he looks like with the display so no pictures of what devastator is going to look like or anything like that so that's pretty much it really for the vehicle he does come with this mixing barrel cover kind of a thing which is going to go over devastator's neck or head or back of the neck or whatever you want to call it uh, to kind of give him that that finalized look uh, but as you can see here in vehicle mode he's got two tabs right there there's two slots here and you can just kind of tab him in right there and carry it around like that if you want to do that but we don't know what that's supposed to be for so we'll just leave that off to the side so there he is one last look at overload in vehicle mode and for comparison here is overload in vehicle mode with the rest of the constructicon team in vehicle mode as well and these guys look awesome this is such a cool display just to have them all in vehicle mode like this they just look so cool together so there you go so you can see what these guys all look like together now getting into transformation into robot mode relatively simple actually so we're going to start right here at the front we're going to just take this cab and pull this whole thing up pull this up and pull that up right there the cab is on a little uh, on, on a pin right here so you can actually slide it over towards the center there's a little tab right here you can hit that and that's going to bring out the little stinger piece there and we can turn them around start working on the legs we'll probably need to bring the camera up he is going to get a little big so go ahead and split the whole front of the vehicle up these are going to be the legs take these wheels here in the center and flip these up these are tabbed in right there on the side so we'll do that on both sides and that's going to allow us to just go ahead and separate the whole legs we can take the headpiece and bring it up and you'll notice as i do that his uh kind of his ab crunch here is going to move forward so that's pretty neat and then you got the little two little clips there those are going to clip in right there on his chest like that take the wheels right here and unpeg them and these are just going to rotate up all the way bring the knee piece out and that's going to kind of bring the leg back as well to do that weird kind of chicken leg bend that these uh figures tended to do take the grill flip it take the foot flip it take the heel piece flip it the leg is done you really need this heel piece because he's going to get back heavy he's got a He's got this kind of a crouching pose, so he really needs those heel pieces. So we'll bring that leg down again, bring the wheel around, up and over, knee piece out, grill up, foot up, heel out, 
and then you can just kind of straighten out your legs any way you wish we'll take these uh, can we do this now we I think we can do this now the little exhaust piece here that's gonna peg in right there and then uh, we'll go ahead and bring the wheels back we'll hold off on the stinger for the moment we're gonna take the back of the truck and we're gonna split it and bring it all the way out now that we've done that and gotten it out of the way to finalize the stinger there's a clip right there that's gonna peg into that slot just like that and we can start working on the arms you can bring these around and we're going to start separating all of this so we're going to start with what do we want to start? let's start right here with this claw this is pegged in right there and it's also tabbed into this other arm here he's got four arms so we're going to want to untab that and unpeg that and just kind of bring it down and around and open up his hook that's one arm and then the other arm should just come right out we can rotate this Come around to the back, open this up, and then there's this little stabilizer piece here. This works for uh, Devastator to support his legs, and it also works for the robot mode to just kind of break it up some and kind of give him that more broken up, bug-like or insect-like look that the uh, movie Transformers, uh, that aesthetic that they had. Kind of just straighten out the legs here a little bit. We're almost done. We're gonna do the same thing on this arm here. So we're just going to unpeg this one, rotate it, bring it down, bring the hook around, Open this one, bring this claw around, come around the back, open that up and bring out the little stabilizer. And now it's just a matter of straightening him out. He looks pretty cool. I did not think that I was gonna like this figure much and having him in hand, he's actually a lot of fun. Here is Overload in his robot mode and I kind of got him all spread out right now just so you can kind of see all his limbs. He stands at approximately seven inches or so at the top of the head, eight if you go to the top of the stinger. And of course, depending on how you configure the arms, those are just gonna be all over the place. Uh, really cool, I really love the aesthetic of this. And again, I didn't think, just seeing him in pictures, I thought he looked kind of lame. And then just having him in hand, He's, he's kind of fun. He's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of personality, if that even makes sense when it comes to uh, movie, live action movie Transformers. Looking at his face, uh, you can see his features on his face. A lot of very cool detail. I kind of like how they did these full wheels here on the inside of the knees. That's kind of cool how they did that. And just kind of going all the way around, he really does have kind of this the scorpion vibe about him with the four arms the in the legs gives him six appendages and then of course the stinger on the top there so i really kind of get a scorpion feel out of this guy uh, for articulation the head is on a ball joint so you can move this up and down and a little bit of side to side uh, he is kind of in that crevice in there so you kind of kind of fiddle with it um the arms the arms are all over the place so the arms can go up and down right here at this joint they can go all the way around Okay, and then you can also like bring this forward and then there's a sh another joint here that will let you rotate like that. So you can kind of do these forward grabbing poses like that as well. And then of course, each of these arms can rotate at the top there. You got this uh, uh, double joint here at, I guess we'll call this the elbow. And of course, this little claw here. This arm can also, um, can this one rotate? No, it cannot. It can move up and down there at the elbow it can rotate at the i guess we'll call that the wrist and then it can move up and down like this and uh, it does not open and close at the uh, the actual claw itself the no no waist articulation the legs can go forwards and backwards you do have a little bit of limitation due to all, i guess we'll call it kibble rotation at the thigh um that much of a bend of what I am going to venture and say is the knee and a little bit of ankle tilt for you know stuff like that. That just looks really man. This is that looks very scary. If you saw that in real life, that would be <laughs> very, very scary. This is a very cool thing. You can see how he starts to kind of get a little back heavy. He does have uh, that crouch position and this stuff back here. It's not that he has a real big backpack, he really doesn't. He's kind of compact, but really the the majority of his mass rests on this kind of a hump back that he's got here so it can make him a little back heavy depending on how you're posing him i haven't had any problems with him falling over or anything like that but i'm sure that these heel pieces have to help helped a lot with that 
and for a quick size comparison here is studio series overload in robot mode along with the rest of his constructicon team and this is just absolutely breathtaking the way this entire team looks together how many members there are and just the, the room that it takes up on your shelf they look absolutely fantastic all together one final thing we can do if you still wish the uh, little uh, cone piece here for devastator this can actually peg in here so if you want to um, store this in robot mode you can do so just by putting that back there and of course i'm not a big fan of that but it's a thing you can do if you want to do it there it is you can store it that way again we all know what that's for so we'll leave it off to the side okay let's get into the combined mode and for that we're gonna start making our way kind of back to vehicle mode so we're just gonna straighten these out we are gonna leave that stabilizer out we're gonna take this arm and put it back away just like that we're gonna take this arm and put it away now this was stored in vehicle mode like this with this peg pegged in there what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna bring the hook in and that peg we're gonna put it on this outer uh, port instead and then we're gonna tab the arms see if I can show this that slot and that port we're gonna put those or that tab rather we're gonna put those in there so it gets a little uh, tricky to see I'll do my best to show it in camera but it can be a little tricky to see so okay and that's gonna peg in right there yep I'm gonna bring this to the side actually we're gonna turn it this way We're gonna go turn it this other way. There we go. So we want basically we want him upside down with the head pointing down, the red part of the leg uh, facing towards us, and then the kibbly part facing away from us. We want these slots facing what will be the back of Devastator. So we're gonna do that again over here. We'll go ahead and put that arm away. Bring this one up. Peg that into the top slot there. And pick these two together down here. Turn this and bring it down. And then we're going to turn these this way. And that is going to be Devastator's hips and uh, thighs right there. And you can see where these little pieces here are going to help with the, the stability there. All right, what's next? We're gonna take these wheels and we're gonna open these up. We're gonna take, we're gonna put that away and bring this up. This is gonna peg into the middle section there. We're in vehicle mode, it was pegged into that side one. It's gonna peg into the center right there. And we're just gonna bring it up and fold it just like that. And then we'll just leave these wheels out here for now. Let's work on these pieces here. And what we're gonna do with these is just basically straighten them out like so like we're going back to uh, vehicle mode almost but we're gonna leave the wheels out so again bring the heel piece in bring the grill out turn this and then just straighten it out and there's not gonna be a whole lot to do with these um, uh, they're not really gonna clip anywhere so you're just gonna kind of pose these so we're just gonna kind of leave them out like so take the head as well bring that out and I think we're pretty much there so we just bring these up like this, leave those open, and we're ready to combine. So let me get start bringing in the other pieces for Devastator. starting with the feet. All right, so we're gonna come to the back here. These slots on the back of the uh, figure, if you look at long hauls, actually, yeah. If you look at the front of long haul, he's got these two tabs here. These are gonna go into these two slots here. And if we look at this guy, yeah, here we go. He got, we got this tab here, and that's gonna slot right in there. This one is really hard on mine for some reason. So I'm gonna start with this one. And that's just going to slot in right there, just like that. Just kind of hold everything together. 
a little bit of a squeeze and it should go right down and just make sure he goes all the way down just like that that one for me again relatively easy this next one gets a little hard so i may cut or edit here or do something but again we're just gonna slot that right in there and because he's got that slot right there it kind of tends to get caught and mine is just super super tight so we'll just work it in there like that and then you just got to keep working it on to get all the way to the bottom there okay so that's all the way to the bottom there now so you can come around the back here and i tend to just push that up and just come around and make sure that everything is lined up and together and that looks pretty good so we'll be able to move his legs in and out and rotate them on all of that so let's get up to the upper body we're going to come up for that this guy is going to get a little huge all right so we're going to come to the back here uh, we're going to get this thing out of the way actually we got this slot right here if you remember on scavenger we got this slot here as well so that is going to slot into that and then these tabs are going to tab into you can see here on the back of overload you got this square and that little bit of a slot there that is where this is going to fit and hopefully again we'll be able to show everything off so we'll just move the wheels out of the way and slot that right in there this is very tricky to do <laughs> looking through the camera all right so we'll slot that in And then we'll push that back so that it snaps into place. Okay, once that's snapped into place, we'll go ahead and start straightening everything out. Like I said, these pieces here, you're just going to bring them up and accommodate them to his torso as best you can. Bring this overload's head up all the way there. And at this point, we're just straightening things out on Devastator. And so we got him standing relatively straight. And we're going to bring in the final cosmetic pieces. We've got this piece that we had left over from one of the hands. So we're just going to pop this right here. And I think it goes like this. And of course, the headpiece is just going to kind of just snap into place up here. Just like that. Now it's a matter of just, again, straightening him out and getting him to stand straight. And here we have Devastator in his fully combined mode, and he looks absolutely awesome. I know that a lot of people have taken issue with him standing straight. Uh, he can't really do the, the all four, you know, being crawling on all fours pose and, and whatnot, and I, and I get that. Uh, he is still a very impressive figure, and he has a lot of presence when he's on your shelf, and he just really looks amazing. And I am personally a fan of the Devastator um the sign from the second movie so i really like this a lot this guy is absolutely massive standing at about 12 inches tall at the top of the head 16 if you go all the way up here to the top of his hump he is absolutely massive and for comparison real quick here he is with just the void <laughs> my voyager optimus prime because he's always on hand and just so you can kind of see the the size difference there he is absolutely massive and imposing now as far as our articulation goes for devastator uh, he was kind of a pain to get him to stand here for the <laughs> for the shot. It's kind of one of those Murphy's Laws when you're trying to do them in front of the camera. It gets difficult. But uh, using Overload's uh, articulation, you can move it at the hips here. Uh, your rotation at the thigh. You got the ankle tilt from the first the, from the two feet combiners, and of course, you can also tilt those in ankle as well. Um, the the head cannot really move or anything like that. The shoulders can rotate up here again do the scavenger you can kind of move the shoulders up and down some like so the weight of the arm and the position that you have the arms in are going to play into that you can also rotate it here and you can bring them up and down as well rotate them at the ankle or sorry at the elbow you can rotate here at the elbow you can also bend at the elbow and of course whatever articulation you can get out of the hands and you can see as i'm messing with him he's kind of he gets a little um, front heavy. It's, it's kind of weird because some poses, he is very, very stable. You can get him to stand up and pose him, and, and he's just perfect, and he stands there solid. And then you'll do something with the arms that completely shifts his weight forward, and he starts getting uh, front heavy. 
it, 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 it's kind of a game. It's a balancing game, really, with him. Uh, you get certain poses with him where, where he just wants to fall forward. And then other times, I'll pose him in what, to my eye, seems I'm doing the exact same pose. And then when I put him down, he's solid and heavy. He stands up just fine. If you saw my video uh, where I did Springer and, and, and see Starscream, you can see him standing behind me on a box. And he's just standing solid. So it's, it's really kind of weird. I'm still kind of learning the... Um, uh, the posing and, and kind of the balancing game with him. I understand that there's going to be an upgrade kit coming out for him. I've seen pictures of it. It looks really, really nice. So that's going to add the shoulder blades and some of the hoses, uh, the, 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 the wrecking balls on the bottom there. And then it's also going to do the, the head. It's going to have kind of like this crest of this headpiece here that makes the head look a little wider, a little bigger, because this head is kind of small. For what we saw on screen and it's also going to have the little head crest pieces and all of that and as well as a neck piece that will allow you to actually turn the head up so that you can put him in the crawling pose so i'm really looking forward to that um kit when it comes out uh i think for the outro i'm gonna leave him in devastator mode just because he looks so awesome so i think that about covers the transformer studio series 66 leader class overload and of course the final combined form of devastator what did you think of this figure let me know leave me a comment down below give me some thumbs up subscribe hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i got that donate button up there if you want to hit on that i certainly would appreciate it share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time